I'm sitting above one of the most spectacular beaches of England here. This is on the uh, extreme east coast of East Anglia, looking away across the sea towards Holland. This beach is at Southwold, which is in Suffolk. And it's a typical, really, of East Anglia, because there's a bit of a harbour down there, which is very difficult to get into. But apart from that, there's nothing. And the fishermen and longshoremen of this coast have for uh, centuries had to work off beaches like this. This particular beach is famous for its beach yawls. Now, the guys here, they would have a little wooden shed up on the top of the cliff here. And from here they were able to look out over the sea and see what was going on. They would see ships in trouble maybe, in, in, in need of assistance. Perhaps there would be a wreck and there might be some salvage. Very often uh, they would put a pilot on a ship bound in from the Northlands, bound in from Scandinavia or Holland or somewhere, bound in for London. Because this is what's called the North Channel for London. Ships coming in to the city and London Pool very often came down past this coast, so it was a great place for piloting. And the boats they used were absolutely astonishing, and they were called the Suffolk Beach Yawls. These boats, they put us in perspective really, those of us who fancy ourselves as seamen today. These guys, they had 50-foot open boats which they launched off this beach. Crews of 25 men, the boats were largely unballasted. They certainly had no keels because they couldn't, they were launching them off the beach and the guys would get them into the sea, pound them out through the surf and pull up a colossal rig. You can't imagine how they kept them upright. The standard of seamanship was amazing, but with this big rig, these long, slender, clinker-built boats were able to career out to sea at speeds of up to 16 knots on a broad reach. It's, it's difficult to imagine. And this is what they did. They were absolute heroes. Behind me here, is the Siemens Reading Room in Southwold, a very, very famous building. It was erected in the middle of the 19th century in an attempt to keep the chaps from, well, keep them out of the pubs, really, and from getting up to mischief and encourage Christian and uh, literary lives rather than rollicking around the town. And it succeeded to some extent, and the Reading Room is still here, it's still open. I've been in there just now, I've read the paper, there are three old fishermen standing in the corner. I had a long chat with them about ships and men and the times that have been and the times that have come. And it was a proper place for the meeting of seamen. At the time of the schooner America, when she came to England to beat up the Royal Yacht Squadron, she beat the Royal Yacht Squadron around the Isle of Wight and instituted the America's Cup. And then she took on all comers. Anybody who fancied a go at her could have one. And they got a challenge from here, from the beachmen. And the beachmen sent a challenge to the Commodore of the New York Yacht Club and said, we would like to take on your schooner, sir. Well, the Americans were not stupid. They sent a spy up here to see what these beach yawls could do. And then, in the best traditions of the service, they made some excuse and didn't take them on. <laughs> the Suffolk beach yawls. A different world. Real seamen. <laughs>